then phase two phonics for friday end of the week so i've got our flashcards here i'm going to turn them over you tell me the sound you see we've done i've got some phase two sentences for us to have a go at reading and then we're going to have a go at writing them and they're quite nice short sentences today yesterday's sentence was really long wasn't it we had two very long sentences to read then a really long sentence to write but these are quite short today so let's get on with our flashcards first are we ready off we go Okay then, so let's move on to reading our phase two sentences. So we've got phase two tricky words in here that we're going to have to try and recognise and remember. We're then For the words that we can decode, we're going to point to each sound in the word, say the sounds, put them together to say the word. All right, should we have a go at this first one? Let's go. So this is a capital T at the start of our sentence, but it's a phase two tricky word. So it's one of those words that we just have to know. We can't sound it out. It's tricky word the okay the right next one let's sound this word out are we ready but it go but it go big but at all but at all bell it -n, it -n. in same word as before it's phase two tricky word the okay last word let's sound it out together let's go hot 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 the Big bell in the hut. Okay, next one. Okay, phase start again starts with a phase two tricky word. Which one's this? It's I. So I. Let's do this one together. Are we ready? Let's sound it out. K atten. K atten. Can. K its. K its. Kiss. Atend. Atend. And. Ug, ug, hug. I can kiss and hug. Okay. And the last one again starts with one of our phase two tricky words. Which one's this one? We know it. It's the. Remember that's a capital T. It's the. Okay. The. Let's sound out this word together. Are we ready? Sutton. Sutton. Sun. It's. It's. Is. Hot, hot, the sun is hot. Awesome, well done. Right, now we're going to have a go at moving on to writing those sentences. We're going to do all three today because they're quite short. So you pause me, go and get yourself a piece of paper and a pencil or something to write on or something to write with and then come back and we'll be ready to go. Okay, the first one we're going to do is the sun is hot. So, start of our sentence needs to be a capital letter. The first word in this sentence is the. We can't do our sound fingers and work out how many sounds are in the word and then write them because it's a tricky word and we just have to know it. So, remember our little rhyme for the. It's a t and a h and an e. A t and a h and an e. So, it's a t, but it's a capital t. So, we go down and we come across t and a h and an e. And a t and a h and an e make the tricky word the, and we've got our capital at the start. So our next word is sun. So it's remember the sentence is the sun is hot. So it's sun. So show me your hands. Let's work out how many sounds are in sun. S or 
mm, sun three so finger space after the because it's a new word we're gonna do three lines so are we ready s sun s sliver down the snake what's the next sound in sun s oh okay up down curl round up and down and flick and the last sound in sun mm, down knobby over his net so down knobby over his net okay that's sun next word is the word is so show me your hands let's write is I, s, is two so finger space after sun because it's a new word and then two lines okay what's the first sound in is i so down curl round and a dot for the top and the last sound in is sliver down the snake okay and then our last word is hot. Are we ready? Hot, hot, three. So finger space after is, new word. One, two, three. First sound in hot. So we come down, back up and over. Next sound in hot, off. So all the way around the orange and the last sound in hot down the tower across the tower so the sun is hot we've got our capital letter at the start we've got our finger spaces and now we need at the end of our sentence a full stop pop our full stop in so the sun is hot awesome right next sentence we're going to have a go at writing is i can kiss and hug so this one again starts with a phase two tricky word. We just have to know it. We know how to, we need to know how to write it. It's I and it needs to be a capital because it's at the start of the sentence. So we go down and across and across. And for tricky word I, it is always a capital. Okay, no matter where it is in the sentence, it's always a capital. Okay, so we've got I. Our next word is can. So show me your hands. Let's work out how many sounds in can. K, A, N, can, three. Finger space, three lines, one, two, three, can, k, and it's a curly k, so it's a curling around the caterpillar, k, a, around the apple, down the leaf, and the last sound in can, n, down knobby, not over his net, so down knobby, over his net, so I can, next word is kiss, so show me your hands, let's work out how many sounds in kiss, k, i, s, kiss, three, so finger space, three lines, first sound k, and it's a kicking k this time. So we come down, back up and over. Then what comes next? Kiss, k, i, well done. So down, curl round, dot for the top. And then last sound in kiss, it's a s, so sliver down the snake, but it's a diagraph. So we need two of those together, make that long s sound. Okay, next word is and. Show me your hands. Let's work out the sounds in and. A, n, d, and, three. So again, we need a finger space. We're going to do three lines. Okay, and, a, around the apple, down the leaf. Next, in an, n, down knobby, over his net. And last sound in and, d. So curl round his tummy, up his neck, down his back and flick. So we've got I can kiss and, and our last word is hug. So show me your hands, how many sounds in hug? H, U, G, hug, three. So finger space and three lines. Okay, first sound in hug. So down, back up and over. Next sound in hug, U. Okay down curl round up and down and flick and the last sound in hug it's a g so we curl round and up and down and flick right i can kiss and hug so we've got our capital letter got our finger spaces what do we need on the end a full stop so pop your full stop in okay right last sentence we're going to write the bell the big bell in the hut so it's a the again and we've got it here remember it's our tricky word and we just need to be able to write it we can't sound it out so it's a t and, a, and an a and 
we need to make sure we've got that capital T because it's the start of our sentence. So the next is big. So show me your hands. Let's work out the sounds in big. B, I, G. There are three. So finger space after the three lines. Okay, big, B. So down, back up and join it up. So B, next in big, B, I. Down, curl round and a dot for the top. And the last sound in big is a G. So curl round and up and down and flick. So we've got the big and the next word is bell. Show me your hands. Let's go. Let's work out how many sounds in bell. B, E, L, bell, three. Finger space after big, new word. B, two, three. Okay, first sound in bell, B. So down back up and join it up at the bottom but eh so take off the top and scoop out the egg and that last sound in bell all oh, and it's the all oh, diagraph so down curl round down curl round and but the diagraph means it's two all oh, together to make that longer all oh, sound right next word is in so show me your hands how many sounds in how many sounds in 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 in, in two so finger space after bell, two, first sound in in, i. So down, curl round, dot for the top, and last sound in in, n. So down, knobby, over his net. Right, the big bell in the. Now we've got the here, but we don't want a capital because it's in the middle of a sentence. So we're going to do a finger space, and remember our little rhyme, it's a t and a h and an e. A t and, a h and an et make the tricky word the. So now we've got the big bell in the, and our last word is hut. So show me your hands. H -u -t, hut, three. So finger space. One, two, three. Okay, first sound in hut. So down, back up, and over. Next sound in hut. Oh. So down, curl round, up and down and flick. And the last sound in hut, it's a t and it's a down the tower, across the tower. Okay, the big bell in the hut. We've got our capital letter. We've got our finger spaces. What do we need on the end? We need a full stop to show it's the end of our sentence. Awesome. There we are then, our three sentences all wrote today. Well done, really good job.